Hello, everyone. Welcome on into a special LAS lock in podcast episode. My name is Tempest KTL here with Stro02, and we have our special guest today, Direwolves Very Wet, and then TEG Hot Asian Girl. How are you guys doing today? Doing good, doing good. Glad to be here. Oh, yeah. All right, Stro, how, how are you feeling, man? Doing good. We got a bunch of stuff to catch up on. A lot of uh, crazy things that went down that we got to catch up on before the Grand Tournament. Yeah, that's why, you know, everyone might be asking what's with the shades. Well, I'm hiding because we, in playoffs, we'll do a small little recap here. We're a bunch of frauds. We lost, you know, we lost our series against Cat Cowboys after going 12-0. and zero, So that's why, you know, I'm a little embarrassed. So that's why we're here. Um, but yeah, and then... Overall winners, you know, that's why we have TEG and Dire was here, because you guys were the ones that won the Tier 1, you know, the Masters and Legends, respectively. What I'm interested in, because obviously I know the guys from Legends pretty well. Tell me about the journey with Dire Wolves this season, regular season, going into playoffs. Did you have expectations to win the regular season? How did it all work out? Oh, wow. Dude, this season was rough. So, we didn't have a full team going into preseason. Mm-hmm. So we didn't do that. And then by the, towards the end of preseason, we finally locked in a roster. And our jungler came to support and two of his buddies came on. So and then we got a top and jungle. And we were pretty good. We couldn't practice pretty often because of all like the different scheduling and whatnot. And then our first couple games went well. I mean, what was that one team that was cheating? Like, oh, DNU? Yeah, the team that yeah, had all Masters like, players. <laughs> yeah, they were the only ones that, like, actually shit on us. Other than that, we were doing good. And then, towards the end, our support, Jungle, and Top, they play on other teams. So they're like, yeah, we're just going to play on our other team. Yep. I do we remember that. I do remember yeah, that. We, yeah, they're like, yeah, we don't have time for to play with y'all anymore. So then we're scrambling to find people like crazy. And then we got, we came across Gunny, our support, our jungle and top, which is paint. Uh, he played in, I think, season one and season two. Mm -hmm. And paint's uh, friend joined as our top laner. And dude, we've been crushing it since. Uh, we had a couple practices. We did good in those. And we got some high hopes going into, uh, the grand tourney yeah i would say it's Darlos is probably the most unknown team of the eight teams going to grand tournament just because like you said the roster swaps you don't really know no one else really knows a lot outside of that about that team i mean like i know we we screamed you guys against against you guys way way early on and then you know you guys were kind of like in that middle of the pack going into the regular season and then in playoffs is when you guys took advantage of ABB losing their first round series. So, you know, we weren't the only frauds, but, you know, so they lost their first round series. And then uh, you guys were able to beat Espionage and then beat um, BPG. Was there any, like, highlight team there? Because, you know, all four of those teams made Grand Tournament. Do you have any expectations for those teams going in? Um, Espionage is good. They're a good team. They play a lot together. They have a lot of... They have good team synergy. I think where they lack is they're very predictable. Yeah, I would agree. Like, their plays are very predictable. Like, when we were bot lane, their bot lane wouldn't interact with us whatsoever unless the jungler was around. And then and then the Thresh is flash flying us. Like, it was very, it was very easy to predict where they were trying to send the jungler. Um, Sapphire... They were a good team. I think um I think we just got better. We just like out drafted them. Yeah. Overall. So we also had some pretty clean plays. Like I think our, our top laner ab absolutely killed at game one. Um my support is fucking nuts. He did really good too. His Morgana was his black shields on the thrash made him literally useless. And then paint paint playing wukong you know that's just a stupid champion like <laughs> definitely would agree yeah i mean it was it was curious because um we didn't know what was going to happen with masters i think me and Strub said multiple times it was like the 
the league or the division. We had no idea because it felt like every other division had like its top two, and then Masters was just this big mess. Obviously, mostly in due to the part that everyone was just getting free wins off FFs because of the whole DNU situation. But uh, I don't know. It was it was I wasn't I wouldn't say I was surprised that Dire Wolves came up on top. Um, but it was a little surprising to see the results the way they happened with you know App Bottom Boys losing. 2-0 first round and then you guys 2-0ing espionage even though the second game i remember being extremely messy you guys were down yeah, like was like a massive comeback yeah that yeah was crazy. Oh, dude yeah dude, i remember that, was, that one yeah we were down bad like i said dude my support dude had some cracked engages in those later on team fights and he really pulled it out for us yeah because dude i i dude i blow I'm the worst. <laughs> Thank God my team is good, cause I just right click on people. Uh, I dude, I get that eighty carry life, man. Don't worry. Yeah, dude. Thank God my team is good. Yeah. Then all right. So we'll move on to TEG. Obviously, you guys won the Legend Division. I'm sure you guys were just as surprised as I was that my team lost in the first round, cause you know even when we were doing our our talks in the podcast last week. We were like, oh, well, maybe OOTEG is, like, the close match, which it was. But, you know, you're like, oh, this will be the close match to focus on. And then I, I guess both were, but it didn't come out the way we, you guys thought. What was your guys' mindset going into playoffs? And then Asian, obviously, Mr. Hot Asian Girl, we can let you come into this as well. What were your guys' thoughts after regular season, going into playoffs, seeing the upset in the semis, and then going into the finals? Um... Like, going into the semi against Owo, I was honestly a little worried. Because, like, for me, the jungle matchup is, like, pretty tough. Mm -hmm. um, that's probably, like, the second hardest jungler to play there. Um, But I was pretty confident we could come out on top against Owo. Just because the last time we had played them, we did win the mm -hmm. best one. So I was, I was pretty ready for that. I think we had the gap in, like, the side lanes. So yeah, it was easy to take that. Uh, going forward into the finals, though, uh, didn't really expect Cat Cowboys <laughs> to make it there. Yeah, no, expected to play against Tempest for sure. Yep, um, I did too. Looking at Cat Cowboys <laughs> over Tempest was pretty nice. Looking at finals, because their jungler seems to be like worse than mm -hmm. the Shro. Um, he's mostly like a tank player, but I was actually pleasantly surprised playing against him in the finals, because he was super solid at playing the tanks and gaining advantages still. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think you guys had 2-1 victories in both of your series. Stro, tell me, what, what do you think the biggest difference was for you guys to win both series? Because obviously, it, they were competitive. They were close. Yeah, um, not going to lie. Uh, our series against Ovo, uh, I swear, like we came in with like probably the most like intricate draft plan in the game <laughs> one that we've ever had, and we just got shit on, like just flat out. Like The draft plan <laughs> went just poorly. Um, I think kind of after that i think just the conversation of okay that was a blunder let's, let's refocus on what we have been doing and getting back to what we are comfortable on is definitely probably the best thing we could have done and we reverse swept i'm pretty sure and then against uh, cat cowboys uh once again we had like a, another kind of good draft plan obviously not as like intricate as the one against owo and we took game one. We should have just banned the Jinx game, too. Uh, and we lost that game. And then we just responded well, game three. So I would say probably just like draft planning and kind of knowing what to expect from these teams was mm -hmm. kind of really good for us. Yeah. I definitely expect to be playing against you guys, but yeah. <laughs> well, not everything works out the way you think it should sometimes, I learned. <laughs> so, I mean, obviously, Stro, we've covered a lot for all the divisions. What were, what were your thoughts about the Masters Division playoffs? Obviously, we had pretty strong feelings about Masters being kind of up in the air. It kind of ended up that way, but what were your thoughts? Um, Definitely, like, the question mark was for Dire Wolves. Uh, I think Dire Wolves, like, very was saying there's a lot of roster changes not yeah. a lot of like went through that and it was kind of like uh you know espionage is that like the known team like what also said very like very well like good synergy been on the same team for a while I kind of accepted espionage just because you know they've been together but dire wolves took it i think that was cool i think i'm very shocked by the apple bottom boys losing obviously their starting roster was playing i after everyone thought that they weren't yeah um, I think that was a crazy part. 
I expect the Dire Wolves to kind of with the roster they look at on paper, and then I, yeah, I think yeah, AVB was a big shock. I think just the two one seeds going down was crazy. Yeah, definitely a uh, lot of question marks going into Grand Tournament. I think a uh, lot of I had a really hard time with power rankings, which I don't really haven't ever really, because I thought I had a pretty good sense of where teams were. Clearly, I was wrong. And uh, so, I mean, we'll, sh we'll see it later on. But uh, I think, obviously, you know, we have to give props to our two division winners. You know, even we'll talk about briefly for Conquerors real quick because, you know, I, I was the one that actually casted that series. Um, you know, I think Conquerors was a division that was pretty much like Legends, where it was super top two focus. And then outside of that, it was going to be if people made surprises. There wasn't any surprises in uh, Conquerors. And the number one team ended up just taking the whole thing in a pretty convincing fashion. I think the finals were probably a little bit closer than Mint would have liked, but Mint did beat uh, MMG Rose. Our, we have Mr. Hot Asian Girl and Stro. You guys decided to keep Tempest at one and then a bunch of different variations. Tell, Asian, Mr. Asian Girl, tell me first about yours. What made you decide on this list here? Obviously not including your team because you didn't want to have that biased. But what did you think of the um, power rankings here this week? Um, the biggest difference I think in my power rankings is Cat Cowboys going upwards. Mm -hmm. I do think that they surprised me. Um, like before playoffs, I didn't think that they were that good. Yeah. Like looking at their best of ones, but then looking at their best of threes, they looked a lot better. Yeah. So I think going forward into best of threes, they'll probably look very good. Um, I didn't know where to place Direwolves, but I feel like they're on the up. So if they like would continue on showing me what they're showing so far, I would put them in the second spot. Mm -hmm. And then I think you guys is still a fluke. Well, you had a fluke, and you guys will still be the best team if you can clean it back up. Um, yeah, and then I think Espionage takes up the fourth spot. I just think they're decent. Uh, their losses weren't that bad for them. So, yeah, I would agree. So, tell me, I, I'm I'm curious. Just overall, like a really quick prediction for something that I really want to focus on is the, because we obviously have our quarterfinal set for grand tournament. What do you think about Cat Cowboys playing against Apple Bottom Boys? Obviously, Apple Bottom Boys was the team that was the one seed going into the playoffs. And you have a surging Cat Cowboys. Looks like they're playing and drafting better in three-game series. Do you have Cat Cowboys taking that win? Or are you picking the upset with, I, I guess, what's considered the upset with ABB? See, I think that series will be pretty close. I might opt specifically. See, I don't know. I think it would be a 2-1 either way. I think Apple Bottom Boys could take that series, but I would lean for Cat Cowboys. I think Cat Cowboys' top side is probably a lot more solid than Apple Bottom Boys. I haven't played against Apple Bottom Boys. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Uh, the only way Apple Bottom Boys could win is probably through like a hard bot gap, but it's pretty hard because Cat Cowboys bot lane is also very solid. So yeah. I would definitely give edge to Cat Cowboys, but it would be two one and pretty close. Yeah, I would definitely agree. I do know that talking to ABP a little more, it feels like a lot rides on their jungle on who's playing what jungle because most of their series or their season wins rav was the one playing jungle and then in their playoffs in particular it was kalor the mid laner who was playing jungle this series couldn't tell you why but that's just who they decided to go with so i'm curious going into their bo3 on sunday if it'll be rav and that creates the spark that makes apple bottom boys a scary team because then that probably becomes the best if not one of the best quarterfinal matchups we can have yeah so but yeah i mean I, I i do respect your list obviously i had some words for it for my personal team which we'll talk about later when i show my power rankings but moving into uh stro here give me your thoughts here for the power rankings for your for your side um I once again I, I kind of agree with Grill here. Uh, you guys are, in my opinion, you guys had a bad series. Um, un, un uh, fortunate circumstances for the series. Um, 
Firewolves, I think they just move up because I took the Masters Division. Um, uh, I have us at three. Uh, definitely in better things, but still things that need to be worked on. Cat Cowboys, big jump. I think Cat Cowboys um, really took a big leap going into these uh, into the playoffs in the last like week or two of regular season. Mm -hmm. ABB um, five is like low, but it's because they fell down. Um, I'm not saying that they're guaranteed five. They could be better. It's just how it is. Yeah, I think it's just because they had a pretty un un unconvincing playoff series. They didn't put up much yeah. of a fight at all. Um, espionage, once again, I feel like that's another team that I feel like could be higher. Sapphire, I have them pretty low. It feels bad because they are the two seed, but uh, I do think that said they, they caught a played well. He caught ABB on a bad day. And then Reaper, uh, very, like, I'm happy to see them make the Grand Tournament. I definitely didn't expect to see them here. Um, definitely expected Warrior. So what, looking into the into these power rankings here, do you agree with them? Do you have any thoughts about them or anything you'd want to change personally? Um. So personally, obviously I'm going to put us first. Because we're like that. Um, I think Espionage is a, is a really good team. I would put them second. Third, uh, it's a toss up between Apple Bottom Boys and and Sapphire. I think. Interesting. So you're just putting all of your well, your, your your divisions in the top, essentially. Yeah, I think. I mean, I haven't played against Tempest in, dude, what did we play you guys, like, before preseason? Yeah, a while ago. Yeah, like, I haven't played against you guys in a in a while. I haven't seen any of your games. Team Empire Gaming? Yeah, I haven't seen you, any of your games either. <laughs> all, all I know is my division. But, um, from you guys going 12-0, and 0, I mean, I guess you guys got something going for you. <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 funny because I mean, me and Stro, I think most of the season were pretty critical of Masters Division, just because we felt that all of the better teams were in Legends, and I don't know if you want to comment on it, Stro, but I think that Masters it was very hard to gauge because we had that we had bye week come in and not play for two weeks, so people got four free wins because of that. And then, or, you know, some teams got, you know, a win, essentially, like for the FF wins for that. And then everyone got two free wins for the um, DNU situation. So I think it was very hard to judge Masters Division, because essentially most, if not every team, had three free wins. So that's why oh, gotcha. it was very hard for us as, you know, obviously we're two players that play in Legends. We don't play against Masters at all until this point now in Grand Tournament. So it's like, how much respect can we give? So that was always the hardest part, especially for me, because, you know, I would try and watch production when there were casts going on for it and stuff like that. But yeah, that would be... And then I'm going to quickly just show my power rankings here. Um, so this is what I had for mine. I gave the division winners the the bell, right? I mean, as they should. I think... Um, TEG and Direwolves were clearly the best two teams. That's why they won their divisions. And then uh, I had a really hard time putting us at three. I think it should. I think it probably could have been Cat Cowboys because I mean they did beat us. But I do think we had a pretty rough week that week. So I'm hoping that we can show that we are the best team and I'm um, happy to prove it. So, but yeah, I think outside of that, I mean I had Cat Cowboys obviously at four. Apple Bottom Boys at five, and then I kind of just divided into the different tiers for the teams going into Grand Tournament, where I had BPG there at six, and then Espionage and Reaper finishing it out at seven and eight. Um, that's just what I had for it, and again, I think it could probably be a toss-up if we de 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 should have been the number one team for my own power rankings, but... I know it's just one best of three, but I just wanted to be a little bit more critical. I, I appreciated, you know, Stro and 
hot Asian girl putting us as their one team, but I just, I didn't agree with it personally. So that's why I put, you know, TEG and Direwolves respectively at one and two. And that's basically like, for me, it's just one A and one B because again, it's very hard to judge these two divisions because I don't get to play against the other division. So that's what I would put it as. Um, we're going to go ahead and move now to the grand tournament draw drawing and we're going to go ahead and move over to grand tournament. Um, this is the complete bracket has all the quarterfinal matches. Is there any quarterfinal match that would, uh, catch your eye there, Mike? Um, I would say, I think Sapphire and Tempest would be a good game. I, th I think the lower bracket would be good. Like Sapphire and Tempest will be good. An espionage empire game would be good too. But like, I think Apple Bottom Boys will be able to beat Cat Cowboys. Apple Bottom Boys does have a good mid laner. I think the re rest of their team is like kind of questionable. But okay. I've never seen Cow Cowboys play. Um, yeah. I think us versus Reapers, um, I mean, everyone keeps putting them low in their power rankings. So not to overlook them, but. Yeah, I would definitely agree. I, I think the hardest part we had with reaper because they we they weren't the team that we projected to even make grant tournament we had pretty big odds on verge warriors being the team because they were hot at the end of the season coming into the gauntlet so we we i think me and shrub both expected verge warriors to be the team that got the four seed and if it wasn't them it was probably gonna be oh well but reaper en ended up actually beating both of those teams so i definitely don't know the strength of reaper but i'm excited to see them play and i think playing against direwolves is probably one of the best matchups you can have um you know on paper so i'm pretty excited to see all, all of these series are great i mean that's why they're the top eight teams in the league so very curious to see overall results for these eight teams to see if the matchups have anything to do with the series overall i do agree with you that i do think that espionage empire is just like a great series they're two of the longest standing teams in the league and they've played against each other multiple times this will just be another iteration of that so very very excited to see empire and espionage stro hot asian grill do you guys have any thoughts about this series with you guys playing against espionage um, I actually think the last time we played against Espionage, we might have lost the series. Mm -hmm. So I am a little excited to get a run back and get my chance to get a little revenge. Yeah. That'll be nice. Um, yeah. I also think their mid laner is still a monster. Yuki, I'm pretty sure. That yeah. That's really good. So I have a lot of respect for that guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm really curious. I think there's a lot of great matchups between Espionage and Stroud. Uh, espionage and empire obviously like the biggest one that i would link for is stro versus yuki like you mentioned i think their mid's very good i think stro had a very good playoffs for you guys so i'm interested in stro's comment if he's there uh about the potential matchup playing against yuki and uh you know against espionage in general yeah i mean yuki i remember when i first came in uh, on Plutus, we kind of he's one of the players that I heard a lot about. Um, I played against him uh, probably three times total um, since I've been here. Um, what I remember, I'm like I think I'm two one against him. I think he's he's very good. Uh, I think the entire espionage team is solid. Uh, Ironically, we did get into a flex game with them last week, and nice. We 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 did no we did lose. Yeah, we 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 five tag five man versus espionage five man and flex. Uh, we no shot. Lose. That's funny. Yeah, we we did we definitely did some funny draft things, and we had no idea that it was even them. So that's funny. But no, I think it'll be definitely a good series. I mean, I, I think that them being a four seed just. I mean. I think Espionage is solid, and then being a four seed says something about the Masters division. Yeah, do you have any other matchups you would probably highlight towards, Stroud? Say, I want to watch this, or I wanna see, I'm want i curious to see the result of it. 
Uh, it, it's ABB versus Cat Cowboys. Yeah, I, I think this is ABB has to prove themselves. I feel like obviously their playoffs they they struggled. This is kind of their moment to uh, either they step it up, move on to the semifinals, and get like you know so that it was a fluke. But they are against a hot team in Cat Cowboys, so I think it's going to be a very good series. Yeah, I would agree. So, Stro, tell me, I want to ask you this now. Teams you expect, let's just say, let's pick one to two teams from each side of the bracket you expect to see in finals. Uh, from, from the top, I definitely think Wolves will be sliding in the semifinals. In my, like, I think that's almost a lock. Um, I want to say, right now I'm leaning towards Cat Cowboys, so we have was Cat Cowboys in semis. So I'm going to do the top two. And then our side, I think you guys take Sapphire. I think we take Espionage. I think our series will be close, but I do think we edge out. So I think final four is Direwolves, Cat Cowboys, Tempest, Egg. I would, I would probably agree with that. I, I, I'm favoring cat right now over abb because i just need to see what version of abb shows up i think direwolf should has a pretty good matchup there with reaper um i know me and my team will be very hungry to prove that we are a good team so i think uh, we'll come out guns blazing against sapphire and then i think espionage empire is just you know classic i think it'll probably be a three game series because tag will throw a draft somewhere and then uh, <laughs> that'll be how it goes to three games. But I think uh, Tech uh, jumps over. Um, dire Wolves, Mike, let's do it like that. Dire Wolves, Mike, tell me your thoughts about the top four teams you think, you know, the two t- the two teams from the top and the two teams from the bottom that win their matchups. Um, obviously, I'm going to bet on myself, so we're, we'd win. Um. I think if Apple Bottom Boys can play together, they'll be able to beat out Cowboys. So I'll go with Apple Bottom Boys, and you know they're my, they're also my boys too. So we gotta we gotta shout them out. Yeah, of course. Um, Tempest Sapphire, that'll be a good game. But you know Tempest gotta Tempest gotta bring that one home for the M and G squad. <laughs> Espionage Empire. Hmm. You uh, Empire Gaming is the one seed, and Espionage. I, Espionage is gonna be hungry after getting beat out, so it's gonna be close. That game, I think that game's gonna be really good. Yeah, I, but, would, um, I would definitely agree. Yeah, I would. I would. I would say Espionage though. All right, because they're they're going to be putting in the work to yeah. to get back into this. Yeah, I, I would agree. They are, you know, similar to Tag. They're a team that you know where you're going to get from them. Consistent, same five group of players that have been playing for a while now. So super excited, uh, Mr. Hot Asian Grill. Give me your thoughts here about the quarterfinals, and what do you think? are going to be the final four teams and maybe even like, you know, the, what do you think the finals are going to be? Uh, yeah. So I'll just start from the top. Uh, I think dire wolves definitely takes it over Reaper gaming. Um, my boy very way here will definitely beat up. Use her in the bot lane. Uh, I think you guys will probably swift to O Reaper gaming, to be honest. Um, I think they actually made some like role swaps or something, which, should be new to them, so I think it'll be easier for you guys to take that. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the next match, though, Cat Cowboys versus Apple Bottom Boys, that's one of the more interesting ones, like I was saying earlier. Um, I think I'd give the edge to Cat Cowboys, but there is a world where Apple Bottom Boys plays very well, and they can still take that series. Um, if ABB's bot lane steps it up heavy and can carry through some games, I think they could end up taking it, but I'd still give edge to Cat Cowboys for sure. Um, yeah. Tempest versus Sapphire. I'm going to have to give it to Tempest because I think they are still the best team, although they had a bad week. Um, 
I think you guys are still the number one. Uh, and us versus Espionage, I think we did lose the last time we played against them, but we should be able to bring it back and win this time. Mm -hmm. uh, as long as we keep our drafts clean. Uh, <laughs> I think it should be probably a 2-1. Yeah. I'm usually 2-0, so. Yeah, I'm excited. As as, I think it's a great yeah. overall, great eight-man lineup, or eight-team lineup, so. Yeah, no, these are yeah. a lot of good games in this. I'm looking forward to seeing this. Yeah, I would definitely agree. I think it'll be a very exciting, um, you know, best of threes we have going on moving forward, um, you know, working our way towards the finals and then the end of the season. Um, does anyone have any thoughts about the all pro teams or the MVPs for the season? Does anyone have any, let's say, surprise, any surprising thoughts about all pro or MVP? I know. Oh yeah, where where are those pictures at? Let me, let me get a look at those. <laughs> yeah, I know there wasn't actually any Direwolves players in first team. Um, what did your what were your thoughts about that going into uh, the playoffs now? And then where, you know, where, uh, I got I got to look at these pictures real quick. Um, what are they under? Announcements. Announcements. I can tell you it's pretty much all of Apple Bottom Boys and then the Espionage Midliner. Okay. For Masters, at least. Here we go. Okay, so first off, I have no idea how Apple Bottom Boys are all all pro or all team. Mm -hmm. Um, y Yuki's up there. I, I, I would give him that. But I think... I think uh, Chad mid my mid laner is a is an absolute beast. Like yeah. if if it wasn't for me being on the team just feeding all the time, <laughs> he he would really stand out. I mean, I just it's mostly me. Uh, you know, but it's, Rav. It's, yeah, Rav. I think played like two games this season in jungle. So I don't like nothing against these people. I mean, like I don't know. I don't know how. And then I don't even know who their top laner is. Like, he's a. I think there was just, like. Dude, I don't, I don't know. I think there. Uh, I think there was just some. Yeah, I, I do know that from people that I've spoken to, that it was probably just more of a player, popularity contest and people picked based on who was winning because. Just like as we don't know a lot about masters, and you guys don't know about a lot, not, don't know a lot about legends, it's hard to make votes on people you don't get to watch very frequently or that you don't really have a lot of connections to. So they probably, I would assume, it was probably just, hey, this team's in first place. We're gonna put all of their players in first. I would say I would echo your sentiment about Chad. I think Chad probably should have won first team for. All pro for the um, Masters division. I think he was even a candidate for MVP, but he was just on a team that was constantly that had a couple of roster swaps. So I think it was harder to stand out when you're subbing, especially you know three different players. But I definitely do think that he had a very good season, one of the better players in the LAS, and uh, you know I'll still give credit to. Apple Bottom Boys because they did finish first in the regular season, and to bubble for winning MVP. But I think if Dire Wolves had a more consistent regular season, they probably would be winning most of the awards for Masters. Um, what about you guys, Stro and Hot Asian Girl? Do Wait, you guys one, have one, one more? One more question. One more question. Who who made these like poster things? Brady Hashted. Dude, he did fucking great, dude. Yeah. These came out really good. Yeah, Brady did. Good for him, dude. Yeah. Applause to him. Yeah, they look fantastic for you those yeah, guys who haven't really Yeah, for those of you guys who haven't seen it yet on the podcast, they're in the LAS channel. Um, you know, we have all the MVPs for the different channels or for the different divisions there. And then the first teams we're working still on second and third teams to get those sent out because he's currently working on them. But uh those will be out here in the next couple of weeks as well for the second and third teams, just like that of the LCS. For Hot Asian Grill and Stroud, did you guys have any thoughts about MVPs, about the all, the first All-Pro teams for any of the divisions? 
Um, for Legends Division, I honestly think you guys are pretty deserving of all T or like first team All Pro, whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, no offense, men. Aside from your top laner, uh, I think he's kind of getting a little abused. So maybe someone could take that spot. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, I think I, otherwise, you guys are deserving for sure. Yeah, I think everyone's gonna try and put all the praise on the entire team for being undefeated in the regular season, all that good stuff. I I would say it was if I had to personally vote, which I did vote, I didn't vote myself, my top laner, or my support for first pro for first team. Yeah. And I only put my jungle and my mid laner because I think they were pretty good. I think Stro O two was like probably the closest mid to Gray. Um but I think obviously I think Stro was you know, the Stro was the best jungler and the best player. And then, you know, Gray had a really good season. And then I think for the other three spots, there you could have arguments. I mean, like, I, I'll tell you my personal ballot. I had um, Don Lino was first all pro for top lane. And then I had Moit Mint for AD carry. And I can't remember who I put for support. But that, just to tell you what my personal voting was, that's what I, that's what I decided on. So obviously I think there will be that sort of buff that goes with hey you finished first in your division so here's the here's your rewards you know for it so yeah. but uh i definitely I, I definitely would agree i think there would probably be some changes if it came down to strictly performance yeah i'd agree for sure yeah and then i think um everything else i think was pretty simple uh we'll move on now to the tier two tournament which uh, i'll give a brief oversight about just simply because as the owner of the league i have the most insight on these teams um but the grand showdown is going to be for our tier two teams that the top six teams all qualified for and um it's essentially similar to that of grand tournament it's the six teams the one and two seeds are getting buys and then it'll be three versus six four versus five unfortunately the three seed moon ff their series so hydra will kind of get a free first round win but i mean they do have to play against rose um you know for the second round and then our sole first round matchup we'll have is deep below versus new origins these two teams actually just played in the gauntlet against one another and deep below came out on top i expect it to be the same for the quarterfinal match and then i think we're gonna have another rerun of mint versus rose in the finals it'll be interested to see if rose can make a comeback and beat mint in the end when it matters for this grand showdown win for the cash prize and for you know the banner that we're going to make for them but you know outside of that i think very quick rundown of the tier two grand showdown again it's always harder for all of us because all of our me stro and our guests are all tier one players so we don't have the most insight about these teams or you know there are about all we know is that some of them are in our orgs but uh you know outside of that i do think that's it for the Grand Showdown. Uh, moving on towards the end of the show, I want to bring up just quickly from a ownership standpoint that our season seven signups for the league are open. So you can go ahead and register your team if you're looking for to play in the league. Uh, we made a lot of changes to the league moving forward, including that of more defined and determined rosters. We have best of threes for regular season now, so the best of ones. We're gonna have a double elimination playoff for you know for the end of the play for the actual playoffs, and then uh, we're gonna, you know we're gonna make a determination for grand tournament once we see how many teams are signed up. Um, but outside of that, I think the only thing I'll ask for our weekly question we say to our fans is that give me in the comments what are your thoughts? Which teams do you think are gonna win grand showdown and grand tournament? We obviously talked about all four of us who we think are going to be the final four teams in. I want to hear in the comments you guys' thoughts on who's winning the whole thing, who's getting that cash prize, getting that banner, all that good stuff. But outside of that, I appreciate everyone once again for watching and listening here. And uh, we appreciate all the uh, feedback towards the, the whole season. And we looked at doing this again at the end of the season. So for myself and all of my guests, I'd want to say uh, thank you and uh, have a good night.